heat exchanger access and cleaning. Turn off the main power to the unit. Then turn off the main gas supply to the unit at the external main manual gas valve. If the unit has been in operation, allow the unit to cool to room temperature before proceeding. Then remove the front access panel. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screw securing the top left access panel to the unit and remove it. Then locate and disconnect the gas valve wiring harness and reference hose from the gas valve. Then locate and disconnect the two wiring harness connections to the fan assembly. And locate and remove the wiring from the spark igniter and ground terminal. Now, using a 3mm Allen wrench, remove the four screws that secure the gas valve flange to the gas valve assembly. Loosen the union that secures the gas valve adapter to the Venturi and remove the gas valve from the unit. Using a 5 16 inch nut driver, loosen the ratchet clamp that secures the air intake piping to the Venturi assembly. Then using a 5 16 wrench or socket, remove the four screws that secure the fan assembly to the heat exchanger top plate. Now remove the fan assembly and Venturi from the unit. A gasket is used to seal between the fan assembly and the heat exchanger top plate. Care must be taken not to tear or damage a gasket. If a gasket is damaged or torn, it must be replaced. Using a 7 16 inch wrench, loosen the two nuts securing the inlet gas pipe bracket to the inlet gas pipe. Then using a 10 millimeter wrench, remove the nuts that secure the heat exchanger top plate to the heat exchanger. Swing the inlet gas pipe bracket out of the way and remove the heat exchanger top plate. A gasket is used to seal between the heat exchanger top plate and the heat exchanger. Now inspect the heat exchanger surface and combustion chamber wall for any soot deposits or dirt accumulation. And using a vacuum cleaner, remove any loose debris from the heat exchanger. Then brush the heat exchanger surface, flue tube entry points, and the combustion chamber wall using a nylon bristle brush. And re-vacuum the heat exchanger to remove debris. Then rinse out the debris from the heat exchanger with a low pressure water supply and replace the heat exchanger top plate and secure it to the heat exchanger. If equipped, replace the air shutter and then replace the fan assembly to the heat exchanger top plate. Reconnect the air intake piping to the fan assembly. Then reinstall the gas valve. Now, reconnect the wiring from the spark igniter and ground terminal, the two wiring harness connections on the combustion blower, gas valve wiring harness and reference hose to the gas valve. And turn on the main gas supply to the unit at the external main manual gas valve. Now turn on the main power to the unit. Press and hold the right arrow and down arrow buttons simultaneously for five seconds. A wrench will appear on the status line of the display. The unit will fire at its normal ignition speed and will then modulate its firing rate to 100%. During service mode, the control will ignore all other heat demands. However, all safeties and maximum set point temperatures will be active. During this time, use a leak test solution to check all connections for leaks. Seal any leaks before placing the unit into operation. Refer to the video, How to Perform a Combustion Analysis, to check and set the combustion levels. Once testing is completed, press the left arrow button to take the unit out of service mode. Replace the top and front access panels, and the unit will now be ready to accept a heat demand.